Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today we're doing something different. We're doing a whip and chat outside on my porch. So you might hear cars and you may hear the wind blowing a little bit. We'll see how this goes. This is just kind of a, a test thing since the weather's getting to be nicer. We might be able to do this some other time as well before the snow flies. Of course, I'm not going to sit out here in the middle of the snow drift and do this. I like diamond painting, but not quite that much. We'll be all inside, cozy and warm with a hot beverage. But uh, hopefully it won't be too shaky. We'll see how it goes. So what's everybody up to? Are they anxiously waiting to go get the kids from school and then you can start your weekend and have two days home with the family and maybe perhaps go someplace. It is kind of nice weather for camping because it's going to get down to 41 degrees around here. I know it'll get cooler for everybody else but not freezing like us. It seems like, you know, all of a sudden here we are and you know, in three weeks it'll probably snow. So, yay. I'm ready for it, but the leaves haven't changed yet. Which is okay by me. I need a couple week reprieve away from the, the crazy tourists. But uh, they'll come as soon as it gets to be... Uh, Hey, she has to sit out here on the porch with me. She'd be having a fit if I left her in the house. So we're just doing this as a little bitty experiment to see how this works and see if we can do anything here. Working on this purple, what do you call it, the roof of this building. I'm sure you can see it way better than I can at this point. But... Uh, just so we try it. It's nice weather. It's not hot. It's probably 60 some degrees out here. Like I said, with a slight breeze. It's supposed to get windier today, but uh, we will see. Molly, please. I don't know what she's barking at other than leaves. I really can't figure it out because I sure as heck don't see anything. Now, all these ones here are going to be AB diamonds. So we will see. I know it might be a little windy for the arm. I was afraid it'd knock my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, la, 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 la. my tripod over because it's really lightweight. I keep putting all the beads back. They're not going anywhere. They're pretty steady. I'm trying desperately not, sorry, see what I mean? To shake the table. If I can't help it. You know, these AB diamonds work so much better on the the multi-placer than they do the single placer. It just tears that stuff, what do you call it? The wax right out of it if you use a single placer with this. Isn't that party? Party parties. I like that color. It's like a pink purple iridescent. It's hard to explain. It's like carnival glass. Yeah. Hang on just a second. Okay, guys, we're back again. Yeah, that was ouch, a big fail. Ow, I just hit my foot on the... Yeah, too windy, now it's gusting. Okay, so we're back inside. Oh well, you try something new, you gotta try. But we'll just keep on working here. But, uh, so I don't even remember what the heck I was talking about before. I decided the wind was getting too freaking carried away. I got three, where am I going to put them? Working on the Aurora Borealis pink that goes here in the, uh, I don't have my light pad on, so hopefully you can see this okay. 
but we're just going to be working right in this area here. I did get a couple more books. I got the book uh, Sea Biscuit because I'd never read the the book, I've seen the movie several times, which was really really good. And I've seen Far Lap and National Velvet and you know all those horse movie things. But uh, I never read the books to any of those. Oops, let me move this plastic. Okay, we're going up. We're coming down. And we're tipping you down just a tad. Let's see if we can get the whole thing to fall over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it started to tip and knocked my uh, Aurora Borealis uh, beads about six ways from Sunday here. Oh, come on. So, but we're working our way across here. We're almost back across. I got a little bit over here to do, but not much. I just thought I'd do this area because I had a real small working space. I was not clearing off my, what do you call that thing? My card table. That so was not happening. Let's see. I don't see any more. Make sure those are. Nope. Like I said, a few tipped and fell in the middle of all this. It was just so helpful that way. There's that one. I hate putting sticky diamonds back in there, so I'll try to use them if I can, if they've got sticky on them, because otherwise all the rest of the diamonds stick to them. So we'll just kind of sneaker them in there. And see what we got. Number one is what it is. But yeah, it's pretty much all over the surface here. Whoops, this guy don't belong there either. I'm sure I'll find more along the way, but thank God I didn't have too many in there. Okay, what is the next color? H. H, H, H. H is 209. Of course, I just had to... Oh, no, I didn't. I was thinking I had 210. I did 210. That's 210 right there. So, yeah, the breeze is kicking up, so. Maybe them leaves will be changing here in the next week or so. Who knows? I've given up. And then it can get hotter and hot and for another two, three weeks. But that's just how this goes around here. You just never know. But we did have snow until the first week of June, which was really weird, because it usually doesn't stay quite that long, so I don't know what the hell was up to that. It took forever for it to start to snow, and then when it finally did, it wouldn't shut off. Okay, I need that hourglass one. Whoops. About pulled the whole damn thing right off in my lap. It would have been great. But you'd expect that, right, from me? Okay, 3830. Three, oh, three. See if I can find it over here. Three eight three zero. Oh. We're working right into those. They're either bow ties or or hourglasses, whichever one you want to look at. I just know what symbol I'm looking for. But my multiplacer seems to work well with them, so we'll just keep whoops oh that was attractive I missed the whole thing well it works well it's the operator some days but I don't know oh come on then I think I need to refill my wax on my crap on my end I had to give up my little heart I pulverized that puppy doing putting the grease or grease the wax in there so many times. I'm hard on that wax, but it's a good thing we got plenty of it. Lord knows we got enough wax to last 50 lifetimes. So, we will see. Oops, we can do four at a time. We can do four at a time. I hope y'all can see where I'm working here. I'm trying to get the light there without it reflecting too bad. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down on the porch and diamond paint or stitch and 
when I came home, it was really, really windy, so I thought maybe it'd calm down. Well, that lasted about 10 minutes, so the first part of this video is going to be kind of, I want to say noisy, but I haven't reviewed it, so. I don't know, it seems to, I haven't used it outside for recording, you know, purposes, so that way, you know, for long periods of time, just took short little snap, see what I mean? I happened to stop and move one of those, and all the wax came out. It was one of those damn Aurora Borealis things. Like I said, it works better in the multiplacer than, get out of there, than it does singly because the wax is still in there with that so I don't know what's up I'll try not to adjust too many of them and usually I have my uh, this was a big area but sometimes there's only like one or two so I just use my uh, thing my little my pen I don't know where it's at right now I can't oh here it is my sticky pen my wax pen thing it works great for, you know, single purpose use, you know, so, oh, hey, we're coming along, we be getting there, okay, let's do those circles with the lines in them, I was like, where is my G2, dying of thirst today, must have had too much coffee or something, all right, oh, shoot, Oh, never mind. We'll just keep working here. Okay, I need the one with the line. The one with the line is 963. 945963. It's kind of a paley pink. Not a Aurora Borealis on the brain. It's about almost the same shade as that, only it doesn't have the Aurora, Aurora Borealis. See, I just laid one there and it's about two shades off. Lighter that is. Whoops, let me put that away before I lose it, because it's invaluable. Alright, we can use the multi-placer now. I like when I get to use it, because it makes things go a lot faster. I haven't been watching anybody else's stitch things. But, uh... Oh, well. Or diamond painting, for that matter, I think. Let's see, who was it? I was watching Ramblin' Rose. And she had a bunch of uh, medallion. One she was doing. And I watched... Oh, dear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember. Uh, I just... I seriously don't remember. So it doesn't seem like I've watched too many unboxings or anything. I did see where they were going to use, is it, I want to say Annalyn, Amblin, Amblin, I don't know how to say that, um, on uh, Diamond Art Clubs, and that's Stitcherista's favorite bunch, because usually they were with Heaven and Earth Designs, I think, I think I got that right. If I don't, I stand corrected. I just can't remember. But they're kind of cute. they just not something that I would like. I think they're pretty to look at. And they're different, you know. They're, they're really different. But uh, not something that I would run across the street to go get. I mean, yet. I'm, I always weigh what comes in that month. And I make like one, maybe two purchases, depending on what comes out, of course. Seven, seven, eight. Seven, seven, eight. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I just kind of weigh what, what's come in, and unless it hits me, like, right off the bat. I mean, Hope Runs Deep, I had to wait because I didn't have enough money to do it right then, but I, I knew I wanted it. But uh, I haven't come across more than maybe one a month. I went through a big rash when uh, they did um, 
Mother of Dragons. Okay, Mama Knows. And Jessica Rabbit. Who else did I get? Oh, I got Daughter of Honor. And... I got, of course, the wolves that I wanted. The, the Wolf Catcher. The Dream Catcher Wolf and the Wolf Dream Catcher. Whew, say that twice. Um, I got those. So, you know, I'm kind of caught up, sort of. You know, I just... Not too many punching my button and having to have, so that's okay, you know. Not ev everything is going to appeal to everybody, so that's cool. But I like to keep collecting them. Oh, yes, I got my NOLA. Yes, I had to have NOLA. I backed own two NOLAs, one small, and I have the bigger one. And then I like the C medleys. So I bought, you know, probably eight or nine this year so for me that's that's a lot from diamond art club so you know we're just kind of taking a back seat taking it slow making a few decisions here and there i'm not you know i don't unless i'm looking for something case specific i'm not going to jump too fast um to get any off the wall diamond paintings unless oh Oh, somebody unboxed that. Yeah, I like that. So, And it wasn't too expensive. I might go after it, but I'm not buying them six and eight at a time anymore. I just, no. I, we have enough for 50 lifetimes, and unless it trips my trigger, we're just not going after it. I just can't see the purpose. Because what I leave to all my kids and grandkids will have enough for all their lifetimes and their kids' lifetimes. So, it's just kind of a, not a waste of money. I mean, I don't ever consider buying a Diamond Art Club a waste of money because it's a collectible. But, the other stuff, you better trip it hard, you know, because I just, no, not, not into it. I've got other places to put my money if I want to, or just not not appealing to me right now I, I don't know maybe I'm settling into to winter and I've got my project so you know carry on and we'll all be bored by the time spring comes because I want to finish this or I want to finish that and, uh, I don't know so they're going a whole lot hell of a lot slower than I expected them to so Sometimes, I mean, this is pretty fast for me on Hub Runs Deep. I mean, I'm not putting them in there one at a time. I am right now, but I just can't seem to focus here on what they, or where they all need to be. But, uh, where did it go? See, I forgot where it was at. So, you know, I'm just getting pickier and choosier, you know, and going after better quality. Um, some of them, you know, I could care less about the quality. I just like the picture, like the lady in the parasol. I mean, there was nothing wrong with that diamond painting. There were no rivers. There were no bubbles. There were no wrinkles in the canvas when I got it, the, and the drills were fine, and I probably paid under 10 bucks for it. So... And I was very pleased with how it all came up. And what symbol am I on now? Three pieces. See what I mean? So, you know, after a while, you have to get, you know, where you, you want to be. And I, I don't know. I probably got over, I would say, over 150 diamond paintings. And I probably got close to 50 um we call it stitching projects so like I said we're good to go and I can't seem to stick with anything no matter what kind of a, a plan I make so I just I have like four projects now just going all the time I keep wanting to stick diamonds there with the plastic still and I don't want to move you again 155 is where I was going that's that pretty purple. I'm going to do them nines while I can see them. Right there, that nines, and I forgot the F's. Ephesus? The Ephesus? The F's? Oh my god, I can't even talk, guys. What the hell? 
I've been too stimulated today. The wind just blew right through me. But, uh, so I, I don't know what kind of things the projects will do in the the winter time. You know, I may get out some other arts or, or something to throw in there. But right now, I just I don't have any plans. I have plans at work, so I'm just unplanned everything. Just what I feel like working on, what I feel like... Crap! Crap, crap! Crap, crap! Crap. Yep. Did you see that? It was an F-155 is 9. So all of them have to move. Okay, where are the the beautiful tweezers. Oh, crap. I hate when I do that kind of crap. I was just yapping away. So we just move them down. So, yeah. That, that's kind of my plan for now. I don't have one. How do you like that? Maybe we'll make some... Uh, mold wine or uh, what do you call that stuff or I want to say mold cider or spiced wine this year oops of course I have one left over oh do you think that there would be a hole okay there isn't and then I lost it about halfway across it's special that way oh lordy lordy some days yeah, I think, oh, diamond painting would be so much easier than stitching right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when you should have gone with your gut and stitched. Yeah, that, that should be like your first little clue. Because if it's easy, it ain't happening today. Okay, let's get F so we can fill in that stupid, it's 210. Okay, one more time, guys. Okay. All right, and then we'll just get that F part done. I had the weirdest thing. I was videoing, videotaping, and I don't remember which one it was. Um, and it videoed to like a certain point. It stopped that so-called session and just started up recording all by itself. What, what What is that? I don't understand. That's the first crap. You can't put it on the plastic, silly girl. There we go. Um, so I've never had that happen. So I don't understand what that was. Just bizarro, bizarro, bizarro. Oh well. Okay. Hang on, guys. I'll put you on pause just one second. Just thought I'd show you what a beautiful day it was here and how blue the sky was. It looks like the clouds are coming in. Let me see if I can walk over here and we can see the mountains. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn you around here. Hang on. This is the back view. Look at those big old clouds coming in, but it sure is a blue, blue sky. Just absolutely gorgeous up here today. It'd be nice sitting out on the porch weather, don't you think? Yeah. But those clouds could come in and rain at any time. Thought I'd show you what we got done. We're going to come up this way. This is the edge. So we're all the way over here. We got that little part of that building there. We're coming down. I got to get rid of my other stuff on that other side. Let's come up this way. So we got this part. I guess this is the school. And then there's a tree there. It looks so much better in the viewfinder than when I look down. It's like, what the heck is that? And we got part of this log building here. I guess that's what it is. Or it's a barn. I'm sorry. Maybe. And then we come across and we hit snow. Let me push this down. There we go. And come across. There's the deer. 
He looks so better, much better in the viewfinder than right straight down on top of him. But yeah, so it's coming along. Let me see if I can get up high enough so you can see the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to look like that here in about two and a half months. Yep. But yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for joining me and putting up with my my experimenting and being outside. Maybe a day that it's not so, what do you call it, windy and everything out. Then we'll, we'll try again. But thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening and a good weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.